morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hello, I'm Rhonda. I'm Summer. Nice How are you? Hi. I'm Iyanla. Say that again? Iyanla. Iyanla. Yes. Summer, I'm gonna ask you and Sinead to switch mm -hmm. places. Oh, I think Summer is really nice. But I'm really excited to get to know her. I think it's gonna be a good experience for all of us. So, Iyanla and I want to find out about you, Summer, and why you are at the Starting Over House. And of course, I'm sure your housemates wanna know your story and find out a little bit about you. Okay, well, I'm 26. I, I was a talent agent at a modeling agency. And um, four months ago, this Thursday, I had gastric bypass surgery. Wow. Nothing worked. I tried Atkins for a while, and then I tried Weight Watchers. The final thing for me was I didn't want to have to fight it my entire life. I mean, it's exhausting. It's depressing. It's been, I think, 75 pounds in less than four months. Wow. We're hoping it keeps coming. And so I'm kind of here to start over and learn how to um, be thin. <laughs> I don't really know. I've never been there. And so what was the moment that you said, this is done, I'm stopped? What made you get to that moment? My grandmother passed away last October, and she was probably 450, and she's about 411. Watching her in that nursing home was just, she had gone to the bathroom, and nobody had come for hours to, to clean her up. And I mean, can you, that's humiliating. You know, and the reason that they didn't come was mostly because it would take two or three of them, at least, to do anything. I just didn't, I mean, I didn't know that I would ever necessarily get there, but I didn't want to risk it. Anything that's genetic hopefully can be fought off. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see some photos and find out a little bit more about you. Plasma, please. I'm so scared. <laughs> be fine. Here. All right, this, is, this was last summer. Um, and we were fixed to go out to a bar, so that is Jack Daniels and Diet Coke wow. in that. That's a big old yeah. fucking glass. I had a good time that night. These are pictures of my actors that are, have become my friends, my models that have become my friends. So how did it feel to be 273 pounds <laughs> and work in the modeling agency? Well, um, it pretty much sucked. Yeah. They'd said things before when I would try to lose weight about, like, if I lost the weight, I would be, like, the prettiest one of the group and all this stuff. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. I think I made up for being afraid of being judged by my looks by I know this business. Next photo. Okay, this is the biggest I ever got that I let anybody take a picture of me. So, and I look at that now, I didn't even find it till about a month ago. I developed some film and was like, oh, I forgot about that. It looks swollen. I don't know. I can't believe, it's really hard to believe how easily um, you don't see yourself. Mm. As I'm listening to Summer tell her story, I am curious as to why she chose to have gastric bypass surgery. Can I ask a question? Sure. Are you jealous of your girlfriends? Well, of course. I Is mean, that why you had the surgery? No. No, God, no. I mean, I had to take out a loan. <laughs> the, the insurance wouldn't even cover it, so that, I believe me, I would not have incurred that kind I mean, of... I was just wondering, if you're in the modeling business and you have all these beautiful, skinny friends, is it that you wanted to sort of be like them and me on a certain level i'm jealous but i really like who i am and i know i had to be this way to develop that personality or whatever so you said your insurance wouldn't cover it so they didn't mm -hmm. see it as a health issue well i did it before i had any real health issues like i had my blood pressure was a little high um but nothing that wasn't on medicine for anything and i hadn't developed diabetes or any of that okay who's um, this okay tiffany's in the middle now I am definitely going to cry. Tiffany, um, four years ago was killed in a car accident with another one of our friends. And, um, I hadn't seen her in a long time. Was it You know, she was driving. wasted. She was wasted, but she wasn't driving. Who's this handsome, handsome guy? We met when I was a senior. And, and what's his name? Nathan. Nathan. He decided to join the Marines, like, out of the blue. He shows up at my work, and he's like, I'm leaving for the Marines in 11 days, and remember my ex-girlfriend? Well, I'm going to marry her. Anyway, so he goes off to the Marines, and, and she starts planning the wedding. You know, you, Were you secretly in love with him? It was like my mm -hmm. best friend's wedding. Mm -hmm. Well, but there's more to the story. Okay, so he gets married, goes overseas. So is he, were you secretly in love with him? Not that I was aware of. Okay, so it was real secret. He came home from deployment and she couldn't come because it was shortly after Christmas. So he came home by himself. He's calling every once in a while and, and I don't know, after a lot of alcohol, he started playing um, Truth or Dare. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I mean, I don't want to say that alcohol is an excuse. It definitely opened some doors that we didn't really know were there, I guess. And what, one of the things they dared us to do was go into the other room for like five minutes or whatever and make out. 
The fact that we did it amazes me now. It's humiliating. It's like the one black spot, the one regret that I have. Did you have sex with him? You we had know. sex with him. See, that's it. That's a neat, simple Thank sentence. You. Thank you. I met you with had him. an affair with a married yeah. man. With a married man. <laughs> Did you have sex with him? We you had sex with him. See, that's it. That's a neat. You had an affair yeah. with a married yeah. man. With a married man. Had an affair with a married man that she's secretly, secretly, secretly in love with for how many years that she named as his best, her best friend. She didn't know. But, that but see, it wasn't know. a secret. It wasn't right. a secret. She right. knew she loved him, sure. but figured because she was overweight, he couldn't love her. I personally yes. believe that you put it in the back of your mind yes. and just kept it there yes. because you and just didn't out. want to accept it. Yeah. But you know what I find very interesting? Hmm that we have the opportunity to have the other woman in the room with Mr. Mm -hmm. Wanda. If I was in Summer's shoes, I would feel ashamed. I would feel embarrassed. I would feel humiliated. It brings up a lot of stuff for, I think, a lot of us in this house. He went back home and he couldn't handle it, so he told um, his wife and he told her it was me. I started feeling really bad, so I called him because I just knew something was wrong. And she answered the phone and he had left because she had thrown him out. And she called me a whore and told me I'd been planning this from day one. Every boyfriend I've had has cheated on me with some other woman and sometimes my best friends. It leads me to believe that I don't want anything to do with Summer. Eventually it came down to he wasn't going to feel, he had made a commitment to her. Okay, so you fast forward, she had been separated, she had left him, and they officially filed for divorce like three weeks earlier. Did you get together? Yes, and we were okay. inseparable for almost a year. Um, I get a call. From his brother. He had been driving home and he was drunk. God, and the car flipped and he wasn't wearing his seatbelt right. And, and that was that. I feel very bad for her. I've never lost a friend or a family member. So I don't really know what it's like to lose someone. But I feel for her. I was Six not months. allowed to go to his funeral. You were not allowed to go to his funeral. It's a big mess. A lot of healing to be done. You're here to start over, and you know, one thing about the Starting Over house is that many times you will find out more about yourself than you ever anticipated. And that's the good thing about the Starting Over house. Your goal is to lose weight and gain self. Just seeing that makes me want to cry. <laughs> I've carried that as an excuse, I think. <laughs> To not put myself out there. And I, I want to put myself out there so I can figure out what I really like. I mean, 26 may not be old, but it's old enough that you don't want to waste any more time. I'm actually trying not to make any judgments at all because that's something that I normally do. Well, I am going to be your primary coach, so you and I will be spending lots <laughs> of time together. And Ianla is going to be your support coach, and so you'll be experiencing her as well. And you and I are going to start today. To me, I'm sorry, but anybody that has a family with a married, I have no you. respect for None. Because all of us have been a prodigy of the other woman. Mm -hmm. She's 100% responsible. If you choose to lay down with another man, she I think can say it. She can say it. In her defense, I think by that she was meaning that he was half responsible, right. and so is she. And what I said was, in my opinion, He's 100% and she's 100%. And her, remember, she sat there and said that she should have gotten up and she should have left. Why didn't you? Knowing he was married. It's gonna be something.